Hi, I am Andrea Dalia Blaga and I will present a study analyzing grasping for docking tasks in virtual reality. This is joint work with Maite Frutos Pascual, Chris Creed, and Ian Williams and was conducted at DNT Lab at Birmingham City University. During this presentation, I will go over grasping in VR along with an overview of docking tasks and elicitation studies. Further, I will present our study and present general findings, concluding with our recommendations. While researchers have highly investigated humans' approach to grasping real objects, it has been found that people interact with virtual objects differently than they interact with real objects. So grasping virtual objects is still a challenge, with virtual grasp models being brought on assumptions only, showing an absence of knowledge on how users intuitively grasp objects in VR. Therefore, in order to develop seamless VR interactions, there is a need for understanding how users intuitively grasp virtual objects and how metrics such as object characteristics and task properties influence grasping patterns. Docking is known as a task that combines point or volume matching with orientation matching and has been highly used for assessing and comparing different interaction methods. Furthermore, while docking tasks were highly investigated in VR, grasping interaction patterns while performing docking tasks were not explored before. Previous work aiming to achieve interactions that are natural and intuitive to the user have focused on conducting elicitation studies for implementing gestures for mobile phones or VR applications. Moreover, elicitation studies have proven immensely resourceful for designers to form an understanding of humans' mental models of interaction, with outcomes including a set of recommendable gestures, together with an estimation of users' agreement on interaction patterns. However, elicitation studies for freehand grasping patterns when performing docking tasks in VR have not been conducted yet. To begin to address this gap, we performed an elicitation study to define grasp patterns for freehand virtual object manipulation docking tasks in VR. Across 39 participants, 16 virtual objects and 3 experimental conditions, we followed the Wizard of Oz methodology and recorded the grasps performed while completing the docking tasks for each condition. To label the grasps collected, two academic staff members rated a total of 1,872 grasps. We report on grasp metrics such as grasp type and grasp dimension. In the elicitation study, we used 16 virtual objects, which were realistic representations of real-life objects, categorized using Zing's methodology. This methodology has been extensively used in literature for categorizing real objects and, to our knowledge, has not been used in VR before. We evaluate mixed docking tasks in VR, looking at virtual object rotation and translation. To assess if virtual object rotation and translation influences grasping patterns, we rotate the virtual object on the horizontal plane by 30, 60 and 90 degrees and ask users to grasp and translate them to different target locations. Further, we categorize target objects based on their daily use in the following categories – tools, groceries and fruits. We then combined rotation, translation and target categories into three experimental conditions in which we change the rotation and position of the interaction objects. We followed a Wizard of Oz methodology and asked participants to grasp the object in the way it felt most intuitive and inform the test coordinator when they are ready to grasp. The test coordinator then manually triggered the interaction. After grasping, participants were asked to position the object to the target position and rotation as accurately as possible. One condition was complete when all objects from the virtual table were arranged at their target location and rotation. Following the elicitation study, two trained raters annotated the full set of grasps, following the methodology previously used in the literature for labeling grasps in real environments. We report on grasp type, which is commonly used in the literature to describe hand use during grasping actions. Real object grasping taxonomies divided grasp types in three categories – power, intermediate and precision. Further, we report on grasp dimension, which is defined as the part of the object that lies between the fingers when grasped, with three dimensions being defined in the literature – A, the longest, B, and C, the shortest. Our results show that users grasp virtual objects larger than they grasp real objects, which correlates to previous work showing that the distance between the thumb and the forefinger is larger when grasping virtual objects. 
Moreover, we showed that there is a lower variability of grasps in VR, users grasping more than 80% of the data using only 8 grasp types. Further, we show that users predominantly grasp virtual objects along the shortest dimension, which is consistent with findings from real object grasping. Moreover, we show that object characteristics influence grasping patterns, which is also consistent with real object grasping and mixed reality grasping literature. We contribute to the community by providing a set of recommendations for VR interaction designers. For environments where natural interactions are required, we recommend virtual objects to be categorized using Zinc's methodology and then correlated to the corresponding grasp types outlined in this study. Moreover, based on our findings, we recommend interaction with these objects to be triggered at grasp aperture larger than the size of the grasp dimension and around the smallest dimension of the virtual object. Further, computing systems focusing on automatic grasp models could focus on recognizing only the eight grasps that were identified as the most used in the study to allow natural interaction in VR. Additionally, the application of our results should be considered in the future for improved grasping experience against the benchmark grasp model to determine the usability improvements for VR interactions. Thank you.